Used car market outlook for 2023. Demand stayed strong in the spring, but headwinds remain for the balance of 2023. And we're also on the hunt for good dealers today. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Liz, caution is the word on the used vehicle side right now for both buyers and dealers. Though demand was healthy through the 2023 spring selling season, gone are the levels of 2021 through 22 sales and significant demand for higher prices like we saw over the past two years. Sure. I also want to share that today and over the next several months, we are on the hunt for good dealers out there. Yes, we know you exist. We've worked directly with some of you, and if you're a current dealer sales trainer and you have clients you think provide a simple, honest car buying process, let us know. Sure, nobody's perfect, and you can't make every customer happy, but we aren't looking for perfection. We are looking for dealers out there with a good heart. Dealers who offer a straight-up sales process with no funny business and provide a simple, honest car buying experience for the customers. If that describes you, we want to hear from you. Our contact info is showing on the screen now. You can also reach us through our Facebook page. We'll hit this topic again at the end. By the way, I would also invite our viewers to participate in our Good Dealers Hunt. If you happen to have a great car buying experience at a given dealer, let us know with plenty of details in the comment section down below because we will most definitely reach out to them. While car inventory has been building up across the country for most dealers and for most brands, pent-up demand for the last two years for used cars and trucks converged with tight supply through the first five months of the year to sustain used vehicle sales, which for now has paused the concerns that some dealers had at the year end for 2022 about a potential slowdown in car buying in 2023. Several factors lend to the cautious outlook for this year, and those concerns were expressed by franchise dealership leaders and shared recently with Automotive News. As you'll hear in a moment, dealers from various areas of the country contributed to this high-quality Automotive News report. Those dealers are monitoring current economic factors that could dent car sales. <laughs> One big factor is the continuing rise of interest rates, which has consumers browsing for a vehicle with the added concern in the back of their mind of a heavier monthly payment. Right. Dealers are also contending with the unrelenting scarcity of desirable late model used vehicles in inventory. When it comes to late model, lower mileage cars, they are in very short supply indeed. And they're priced really high. Jim Farkas, general manager at Jermaine Honda of Ann Arbor, Michigan, so far sees no dampers on buying activity at his dealership. He explained that while there are fewer people in the market for used vehicles, meaning less people out walking a car lot, sales to those who remain are closing at a higher rate than usual. There aren't as many shoppers, but there are still a lot of buyers, he explained. Two other potential headwinds are things we've been reporting on here in this show in recent weeks. One is there are more conservative lending approaches and policies being implemented by banks, making it more difficult for less qualified car buyers to get a car loan. There's also higher costs and more competition for dealers to acquire retail-worthy used vehicle inventory, explains Tom Moore, the COO of Morgan Automotive Group of Tampa, Florida. Both factors pose big challenges on the used vehicle side of the business, he told Automotive News. Even so, he said, robust retail demand from consumers continues on. When wholesale used vehicle prices fell during the second half of 2022, many dealers chose to hold off on stocking inventory because they didn't want to risk having that inventory declining on their books, said Chris Frey, Senior Manager of Economic and Industry Insights for Cox Automotive. However, once the spring selling season drew near, dealers began ramping up wholesale purchases. More dealers visited auctions to buy instead of trading among themselves, which actually drove up car prices. Cox Automotive's Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index recorded four consecutive months of increases from December to March. This value index is a measurement of wholesale used vehicle prices calculated by tracking vehicles sold at Mannheim's U.S. auctions and applying statistical analysis to those figures. Wholesale price appreciation slowed through April into May, and for now, wholesale prices appear to be declining at the relatively normal levels that might have been seen not long ago, like in 2019. Sure. Referring to vehicle age, Chris Frey added, with some of the age cohorts, it's continued to come down, but I would say it's not precipitously falling. The values of vehicles Morgan Automotive sells at wholesale auctions, instead of putting on its dealership lots, actually went up significantly in the first quarter. Also going up was the values of late model used vehicles the group buys to retail, but by February, those had more than stabilized, bumping up the cost to acquire them. 
Tom Moore said, our first quarter started off great in retail used car sales. Morgan Automotive, which has more than 60 dealerships in Florida, was up on the same store used vehicle sales volume basis by a significant amount in January and February. And by the way, Tom, if you're out there watching today, we'd love to talk to you. We can be reached at 701-441-3399 or by email to kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. I think we have a value proposition you'd be very interested in. In March, the dealership group did see a small same-store decline in used vehicle sales volume. However, its overall used vehicle sales volume was up about 8.3% year-over-year in March, aided in part by the store acquisition spree it has been on. Tom Moore estimated overall used vehicle sales volume was up roughly 10% year-over-year in April. Most of the March decline in Morgan Automotive's same-store used vehicle sales was attributed to short supply. Tom Moore expanded on that, saying, Our inventory levels are low at some of our stores, significantly lower than we would like them to be. Most of that's driven by the fact that the new car inventory on some of our brands just simply hasn't come back as fast as everyone anticipated. Many report that in most areas, the availability of used cars is an issue. Farkas, who also is corporate used car director for Jermaine Motor Company, said the strength of the market varies by brand and availability. Yeah. The dealership group has 22 stores in Ohio, Florida, Arizona, Montana, and Michigan, and nine used vehicle buying centers have helped the group pad their inventory during these several slumps in supply over the last two years. Some models from brands that have lower new vehicle supply or those that do not flow back to dealerships as lease returns, such as Honda and Toyota, are still appreciating, Farkas said. Those continued to sell similarly to last year, but models from General Motors, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW which have new vehicles more readily available, are tending to depreciate more and are not selling as fast. Likely because people are tending to go with a new vehicle when it's available. You see, friends, inventory levels of new cars do have an impact on the prices of used cars. Well, not only that, but affordability-minded consumers continue to buy out their vehicle leases. Morgan Automotive Dealership Group expected to slow down, but so far it hasn't. I think content we've published recommending that people buy out their leases has contributed to this phenomenon. Right on. Mm -hmm. Both Tom Moore and Jim Farkas had more to say on this. Moore said, that off-lease inventory just isn't there, so that's affected used car supply as well. And according to Farkas, the market is stronger than expected for vehicles under a 30000 market value. Vehicles worth more than that are depreciating faster than anticipated, he noted. Jermaine Honda sold about 4,900 used vehicles through May 10th, up 4% from last year. Farkas's own store is up 11% from last year. Overall, the group has a healthier supply of inventory than this time last year, and that's pretty consistent with what we're seeing too. With an outlook on the rest of 2023, Farkas said fluctuating new car production and interest rates could be key influences on the market through the remainder of 2023, but he's not too worried. I feel this year will be steadier than last year, he said. I'm very optimistic about what the rest of this year looks like. Bill Wallace, CEO of Wallace Automotive Group of Stewart, Florida, confirms this, saying, Inflation, interest rates, and concerns about a recession have yet to affect used vehicle sales as much as expected. The dealership group decreased used vehicle inventory this spring, expecting negative impacts of an unfriendly macroeconomic environment. Across all stores, the group reduced inventory to $12.5 million from a standard $16 million, representing a used vehicle count trimmed to about 850 from about 1,000. Let's do the math on that. An inventory of $16 million and 1,000 cars puts the average sale price at 16000 A $12.5 million inventory level with 850 cars drops the average selling price to 14705 That's just over an 8% price drop in that period. Wallace Automotive sold roughly 870 used vehicles in March, flat compared with the same month in 2022, and about 860 in April, up 7%. Wallace told Automotive News, I don't think we overreacted, but I think if we were to do it again, we might not have any reaction at all because we really didn't see any slowdown. Wallace said he expected consumers to use their income tax refunds, typically a driver of spring used vehicle sales on other things this year but as far as he can tell they behaved as normal yeah. spending tax returns on cars sure they are ultimately having more conversations about vehicle payments as interest rates are higher he said though they typically go into a purchase aware of the situation and are not surprised by higher down payments and monthly payments wallace is concerned about the looming threat of a recession but with a surprising normal quarter in the rearview mirror he says 
He is cautiously optimistic about the rest of 2023. I'm going to wrap up today's show with a solicitation to good dealers to reach out and contact us. You can either use 701-441-3399 or email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. We've made a pledge to highlight and support you good dealers out there, and we definitely want to hear from you. A couple immediately came to mind, Mullinax Ford in Central Florida and Earl Stewart Toyota in Lake Park, Florida. Many good reports have come in on both of you with comments largely saying that there was no funny business, just a simple, honest car buying experience. Precisely what we want to align car buyers with. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, as Liz just shared, we are on a mission to highlight and promote good dealers around the country. We are after dealers who offer no funny business and provide a simple, honest car buying experience for the customers. So even if we didn't mention you, but this last sentence describes you, we'd love to hear from you. That pretty much sums it up. Again, our contact info is 701-441-3399 or email kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Also, for our newest viewers, it's vitally important that you don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our future announcements. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team and our show, is where you'll find helpful tips and information to help you find the most enjoyable car buying experience available in the car market today. That's a promise we've been living up to for 14 years. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. If you've just recently joined our Mammoth Size group of subscribers, <laughs> we welcome you. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. <laughs> and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.